Let's get out there. Welcome back everybody. We're going for halibut again. I've been on fire so far this year. I think I caught 16 halibut, 10 keepers in a single week. So I'm back for more. Hopefully I didn't just jinx it. But yeah, it's been great out here. I've caught them all in the bay. So I'm gonna start fishing the ocean soon, but it's been, it was very windy early season in the ocean. So the water stayed cold and the halibut are just moving in. Anywho, we're back out in the bay and we're gonna find some fish. It's low tide right now, so I'm very shallow, but I'm gonna start trolling shallow. I've had good luck in five, 10 feet of water. And we're gonna make our way out there. We're gonna ride the tide out and then back in. So I'm gonna be fishing a tide flip. So right now it's outgoing. So it's gonna take me toward the Golden Gate. And then later it's gonna push me back in. So I'm just gonna ride it back and back in. It's my favorite tide when you can just ride it. Beautiful, easy on the legs. I'm using Old Faithful today, bounce ball rig with a frozen herring attached using a trap rig at the end uh, and uh i've been having good luck with this frozen herring i like it for the bay i don't have to pick up live bait easy convenient trolls great and the fish love it so i'm gonna drop down and eight feet definitely halibut here eight feet is perfect not too shallow and actually the bay feels really warm this morning that seems promising halibut like this kind of warm water, that's why they're not really around in the winter. You know, halibut season is all year long, but can't really find them much in the winter. So that's it, you can see my my bounce ball is just bouncing along the bottom. And you can see that reflected in the rod tip. And that's how you know you're doing it right. You want to keep your bait, your presentation right on the bottom where these predators are hiding. And they're just going to come up and snatch up my bait. Little do they know it's got a two nice fun surprises for them uh a treble hook and an octopus hook so that's it we're gonna troll around here ride the tide look for fish gopro start recording there we go fish on fish on fish on there we go nice and easy Let's see. Oh, uh, looks keeper-ish. I'm gonna net him, hopefully. Let's see. Could be keeper. Mm, maybe not. Ooh, seems to be hooked pretty well. But let's get him in the net. There we go. All right, first fish of the day. And let's see, let's measure this guy. Uh, don't think so. Nope, just short. 21 incher, 21 and a half halibut. Beautiful fish, I appreciate the small ones just as much as the big ones. Mwah. There we go. All right, see you later, buddy. Let's get the release, ciao. There he goes. Nice. Well, that's the first fish of the day. And I'm going to keep trolling around, see if we can pick up a keeper. And so I'm going to have to kind of go blind, see how it goes. All right, we're flying blind. Let's see how this goes. GoPro, start recording. Yup, fish on. Woo, Adam, I was watching your video. I was watching some diehard fishing and that brought me the... Oh no! I was gonna say, I was saying it brought me the good luck. Ah! No, that one felt good too. No, no, no. That's painful. Pain, pain, pain. It's been slow. It has been slow the last hour. I think that was a keeper. I don't know definitely felt heavy 
Ah, nothing to do but slap another herring on here. Keep watching Adam's video and see if we can get our revenge on that one. GoPro, start recording. GoPro, start recording. Ew! Fish on. Uh, I think this is a small one because I just hauled them up. Yeah, this is small. And both times, uh, like right now, I was asking Adam where he caught some uh, squid in his last video. You know what, Adam, man is fishy, even when he's not fishing. You know, it's been nothing all day. I watch his video, I hook one. I start sending him a message to ask him something, I hook another. Yeah, this is a little guy. There we go. Well, ah! All right, maybe he flops out. And it looks like the bite's picking up. Time is oof, exactly 8.30. This is exactly slack tide. Ooh. Careful with those hooks, careful with those hooks. Ooh. It's exactly, exactly slack tide. So that means it's between low and high. It's between, as I was saying, ooh, low and high tide. So what that, what that means, is the water is not moving it's completely slack that's the name another little one not even gonna bother measuring it let's just get it back Wah! feisty feisty little guy so let's see i'm gonna slap another herring on right here and i don't know maybe i i like another one of adam's videos see if that gets me a 40 inch right now but that's funny man is too fishy good size holler right there super thick that's definitely my biggest of the year. I'd say it's probably like 30, 33 inches. Yeah! GoPro, start recording! GoPro, start recording! Well, that GoPro is dead. Sometimes they just glitch. Adam again. I haven't even been watching his video that long. Oh my god. Oh, the babiest of the babies. The thing is, the bay is like a nursery for these halibut. So the ocean provides bigger fish on average, but the bay, since it's a nursery, you have big fish coming in to breed. So you can get those, you know, not long ago, like 10 days ago or something, I was fishing out here with Outdoor Chef Life, Adam from Die Hard Fishing and Nick Fish, and I got a 37 incher right out here. So that's a huge, huge fish. But there's also these 12 inch halibut that you have to weed through sometimes. And that's our, our third one in the morning. I think I might've lost the only good one so far. Beautiful little halibut. Let's get him sent on his way. Wow! Whoa, he's on the surface. So cool. I love when they do that. I'm gonna tell you exactly what video I'm watching. Cause maybe that's like a lucky charm or something. Maybe try watching this while you fish. It's I Unleashed the Secret Weapon for Some Fat California Halibut by Die Hard Fishing. You know, I've gotten a total of nine minutes into the video and I've got three fish. GoPro, start recording. Yeah, fish on. Oh, still on Adam's video. Fourth halibut that hits. Head shakes, head shakes, head shakes. Maybe keeper. Maybe keeper. Maybe not. Ooh. I'm gonna give you the mark on the on the video because it's probably been like. Five more minutes. Ooh. Is it in the net? 
Can't tell. No, it got out. It's still on. Ooh, but the net is caught. It came out of the net. Ooh, 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 ooh. Brutal, 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 brutal. Still on though. How, what is it caught on? Get off. Okay, there we go. Still on. Still on. Oh, head shakes, head shakes, head shakes. I think it's well hooked though. Okay, there you go. So see, see how I turned the net? I netted him and then I turned the net. So it's sideways, so he's not getting out of that. 14 minutes into the video. Is Die Hard Fishing a good luck charm? Give this guy a measure. Gotta take this out to close his mouth well because he's close. Yeah, he's like 21 and a half. Definitely not a keeper. But he's got some weight to him. Some of these fish are fatter than the others. But there you go. Another, another fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I love their eyes. All right, later. Let's get the bait back, keep trolling. See if I can make it through this video without another fish. In the open ocean, there's all kinds of stuff out there. There's little pebbles down there. Who knows what's down there? But I think that's why they have more of this pattern uh, when you catch them out here in the ocean. Because there's just more stuff. Oh no. Oh, he was on there too. I just took too long. 19 minutes, 48 seconds of video. Fifth hit. You see that? No, the smelt. Those things are good live bait if you can pick them up. You see that? The wind just picked up. It's literally flat over there. I'm right at the wind line. And that's what happens every day here. So I'm out here and then I see this kind of water change and it's from glassy to this disturbed water. And that's how I can tell how far the wind is. So it's been, I've, I've seen it chase me for like a mile. And it's cool to see it just overtake you and then you get this nice breeze. And then all of a sudden the white caps and you gotta get out of here. So I'm trolling in shallow, haven't had any bites. But it could happen. If it doesn't happen, then this is the end of the video. That will be that. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Like and subscribe. Tight lines. See you later.